Hey everybody and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be taking a look at the western pink Barbie doll from the Barbie movie so let's go! And before we start, I'm Jamie and I like to make toy videos here on my channel so make sure you like, subscribe and ring the notification bell if you would like to stay tuned for more toy video content. And here she is, so I got her last week from Amazon Singapore for about 110 Singapore dollars, which roughly translates to about 82 US dollars, so it is a little bit steeper than the $50 price tag over there in the States, but that is the official retail price for the Asian market, so it is what it is. But I'm just really happy to have her. Uh, the packaging... <laughs> The, cat. <laughs> the packaging is really nice and spacious. I love the little glittery sparkly bee on the top. You got the logo with the shooting star on the bottom. And on the sides, you got more bees, more dream houses. And on the back, we got the same photo of Margo in the car with the greetings from Barbie Land. And I really love the holographic effect on the logo. And here's also a comparison of their package design with the Perfect Day doll. Since the pink western doll is from the signature line, it features a bigger box, whereas the Perfect Day doll is more of a playline doll, so it features a smaller, a little simpler box design. Overall, the pink western doll box is taller, wider, and also thicker. Alright, now it's time to take her out! If you are a non d boxer and her hat is covering her face, you can also adjust it a little bit when you slide her out of the box and then you can just probably put her back in. Because she is part of the signature line, she also comes with the usual certificate of authenticity on the back. Alright, now we take her out for reels. So obviously this doll is the most popular out of all of them and it was also the hardest doll for me to track down because I started to get them quite late. I think I only started to get these dolls like middle of July, like two weeks before the movie actually came out. By that time, she was already sold out pretty much everywhere and I just had like a bunch of Amazon pages open and I was just basically refreshing the pages throughout the day. I pretty much almost gave up on her, but thankfully last week I just randomly refreshed her Amazon Singapore product page and there she was. I don't know when she was actually restocked, but by the time I saw her there were only two left in stock, so I quickly grabbed both of them so that I could put one in the fashion pack eventually if Mattel Creations decided to finally ship. It's so interesting to see why this doll became the favorite of a lot of people, like I see even non-doll collectors wanting to get this doll. Of course, the outfit is designed beautifully both in the movie and on the doll, and I also think because this was one of the looks that we saw her as Barbie when all those um, behind the scenes set photos came out with her rollerblading, so I think we just had a lot of time to digest that outfit in our heads and really, you know, had the time to fall in love with it even before the movie came out so by the time the doll is out everybody's just like we want that anyways here is a look at the box background so i do have to say the box background does open up to be a nice little backdrop or a diorama of sorts so you can utilize it both for display and for photos since she's a signature doll she also comes with a stand with a white base and a waist clasp and here she is in all her glory, so let's take a 360 look at her before we get into the details. She looks so cute and the pink is so striking on her. Her hair definitely does need a bit of work for sure. <laughs> Alright, details time. So first up, we got her cute cowboy hat. So because of the hat, her hair is squished a little bit near the top. So her white cowboy hat is sculpted really nicely. It's made out of this soft rubbery type of material. And I do love that the pink star pattern across the hat is not painted, but an actual little ribbon. And it fits nicely and snugly on her head. For her face, she features the exact same sculpt as the Perfect Day doll, and even the paint itself looks identical to that doll, so I think it may be the same. But I do think she looks more like Margot here. Maybe it's the middle part that makes a little bit of a difference. She does have two little dots of paint stains from her earrings. Her earrings are this silver chrome giant star-shaped earrings which look really cool, but in the movie I think they're like smaller stars with like little dangly bits going on. 
For her hair, it is pretty gelled, so the bits you see at the front are nicely curled with gel, but the ones in the back are kind of just squished and flat due to the packaging, so uh, a little bit of washing out is in order. I would suggest just washing it in a little bit of warm water without any product to get rid of the gel, but also maintain the shape, so you'll end up with like a fluffy look. Moving on to her outfit, so first she has her neck scarf tied as an ascot on her neck and the patterns are really pretty. Um, it is tied down with a T-tab so once you remove that, they might end up sticking up. And then for her vest, it's made out of this fabric to mimic denim. It has printed details on the lapel and also on the back, there's a horseshoe and some stars. The button details are missing on her top but I'm still glad that it does not feature Velcro and instead has plastic little button tabs. And then she also got some faux pocket details along with some metal little star studs. The garment is actually very nicely structured and nicely made. The only thing I wish is that it would have been more fitted to her body because it's a little loose now. Next, we move on to her pants, and her pants are also very nicely made. It's very structured. I love the pants have like a fitted feel to it and then you got the bell bottoms and then of course you got the two iconic stars on her booty the stars in the movie are metallic foil so i kind of wish they had recreated that here too on her waist she also got some lace-up printed details and here is a closer look at the stars and the ones on her booty i was also pleasantly surprised to see that her pants feature a metal fastener hook on the back instead of velcro and finally we move on to her boots her boots are nicely sculpted so it's a white base boots with silver and gold paint details for articulation she moves at the neck the shoulders the elbows the wrists the hips and knees and she does feature those arms with the bump on the biceps, which I don't like. <laughs> okay, so I just remember that I have this tiny little pink bird hat that I got for my cat Elfie years ago, but Elfie hated it. So I'm like, now it's perfect for Barbie, so I just want to try and see how it looks on her. Oh, she is kind of rocking this bird hat. <laughs> it is a little bit bigger than her actual hat, but it does fit nicely on her and she looks great, so I might actually just keep her in it. All right, so for my overall final thoughts, I think she is a fantastic doll. She is executed beautifully. There's a lot of details on her that I love. The only few things I would call out is better hair execution. The hair is still very playline hair um, for a $50 doll. And that the star patterns on her pants may have been metallic foil. That would have been perfect. But aside from that, I think she's wonderful. But at the same time, I wouldn't suggest paying over the retail price for her. I know that she is sold out almost everywhere, but I would suggest if you can wait, just wait it out. Because the movie is such a big success, I would think Mattel would want to make as much money off of it as possible and produce more of these and restock more later down the line. So my advice is, if you can wait, just wait it out. But if you just don't want to risk of them never being restocked and you just really want her right now, then I guess you can also go for her now. Alright, so that is it for my review on the Western Pink Barbie doll from the Barbie movie. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Have you gotten her or are you still on the hunt for her? You can also check me out on Instagram at Jamie Creates for my toy photography featuring the Barbie movie dolls, Disney, and so much more. If you enjoyed the video, you can please thumbs up, like, subscribe, and share. It'll really help out my channel. Once again, thank you so much for watching until the very end, and I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye!